Hi there, I'm Stephen, and before I tell you a little bit about what we do at OES, I'd just like to tell you a few things about myself. I've been involved for over five years now in teaching, teacher training, and academic management with a particular focus on IELTS and ensuring that our students are able to achieve the results and the band scores that they need. Now, the first criteria that we're focusing on here is fluency and coherence. So what our courses are training our students to do is to be able to express their ideas at length, to talk without too many pauses, to be able to explain and justify and to give reasons for everything that they say and to connect their ideas together using a range of discourse markers. And to be able to do that is quite tough and that's why we make sure that we have a lot of fluency practice in class across a wide range of topics. In terms of lexical resource or vocabulary, one of the skills that we like to focus on a lot is paraphrasing. Because there will always be words that you don't remember when you are speaking. And so your ability to get around those uh, blockages, if you like, or those obstacles in your vocabulary is a very, very important skill in the IELTS speaking test. So for example, if I can't remember the word for projector, and if I can explain what a projector is by saying it is a device or a machine which shines images onto a screen, then I have paraphrased effectively, and that means that I'm probably looking at one of the higher band scores. Now in terms of grammar, what we really try to focus on and to teach our students and to coach our students in is using a range of complex structures rather than just using simple sentences, because if you only use simple sentences, then we're not using a range of structures. So, for example, if you can use conditionals, if you can use passives or modals and relative clauses and other structures of that kind that add complexity to what you are saying, then you are starting to look at a higher band score. And so that's very much what we are training our students in doing. In terms of pronunciation, pronunciation is not just about sounds. It's not just about being able to produce your final S or the third sound, which is very difficult for many students. It's also about how you use features like stress or intonation to emphasize the most important words in a sentence and to also convey your attitude about particular things or ideas. So these features are very much a part of what we focus on in pronunciation because if we don't have those features, then we will again be restricted to a much lower band score. So it's very important that any comprehensive speaking course includes all of these aspects of pronunciation. So, we have thought very carefully about our speaking courses here and the people that have designed these speaking courses have got many, many years of experience in the Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City markets and who have been here for a number of years in the Vietnamese second language context and so they've got a very good idea about what are the particular problems that Vietnamese second language learners face when they are trying to speak English and to learn English. So I think that what we've put together will be of great use to you and I think that the courses that we have designed will be absolutely vital for your future success. It's been nice speaking to you.